In 2024, we seem to have almost everything people dreamed of for the future. Self-driving cars, advanced AI, smartphones, and even food delivering robots. It's like something out of a sci-fi movie, but there's one big thing missing, cyborgs. Well, until now. On January 30th, 2024, Elon Musk shared some big news. His company, Neuralink, successfully put their Neuralink chip into a human brain for the first time. They tested it on monkeys before getting permission for human trials last year. Elon Musk says it went well, even posting about it on X Twitter. The initial results were promising with neuron spike detection, referring to the cellular activity between our brains and nervous systems. Elon claims that these brain chips are designed to interpret a person's neural activities so they can operate a computer or smartphone by simply intending to move. Can you explain a little bit just to people who maybe don't have any context on this field or what's going on here? Yeah. How are you able to actually move the cursor? Yeah, so we started out with a few, trying out a few different things. Um, we basically went from what we call kind of differentiating, like imagined movement versus um, attempted movement. So a lot of what we started out with was attempting to move. So I would attempt to move, say, my right hand, left, right, forward, back. To move. And um, from there, I think it just became intuitive for me to start imagining the cursor moving. Um, basically, it was like uh, using the force on a cursor <laughs> and I could get it to move wherever I wanted, just stare somewhere in the screen and it would move where I wanted it to. No wires or physical movement are required. Ultimately, the idea would be to achieve a symbiosis between our biological mind and our kind of digital mind. So we, we're already kind of a cyborg, uh, if you think of like your phone and your computers as an extension of yourself. So so what, what a neural -like device can do is improve that bandwidth, allow, you, allow um, you to be sort of much more symbiotic with your, the, the AI extension of yourself. Essentially, putting this chip in your brain will allow you to control your technology devices. Elon confirmed this when he tweeted, enables control of your phone or computer and through them almost any device just by thinking. The process of putting these chips in our brains is wild. They call it Prime, precise robotically implanted brain computer interface. Basically, they use a robot to carefully put tiny wires into the brain, targeting areas linked to movement. They use super small needles, just a bit bigger than a blood cell, to minimize damage to the brain. But the idea of a robot doing brain surgery is pretty scary. What if something goes wrong? There's been some controversy though. Reports say many of the monkeys used in testing didn't make it, but Elon denies that. He says they only used sick monkeys to minimize risk. His goal is huge. He wants to push the limits of what humans can do. He tells people in the trial that they're shaping the future, not just for themselves, but for everyone. He's making it sound like a big deal, almost like he wants everyone to get this chip, treating it like the next big iPhone. Remember when iPhones changed everything? It feels like that all over again. An iPod, a phone, and an internet communicator. These are not three separate devices. This is one device, and we are calling it iPhone. The Bible talks about something called the mark of the beast, which people will have to have to buy or sell things. It's said to go on your forehead or hand. Some think these brain chips are like that, especially since they're implanted in the brain. It's a bit scary thinking this chip might become mandatory. Our lives are already so digital, this would take it to another level, fitting the Bible's description. Elon Musk may seem like the right person to introduce the chip. He comes from an unusual Hollywood family. His father, Errol Musk, had two children with his stepdaughter, Jana. Elon Musk's mother, a model, appeared in a music video with Masonic symbols. A Halloween costume Elon Musk wore in 2022 was very expensive and known as the Devil's Champion, featuring a Baphomet head. Some believe this suggests Elon Musk is not who he seems to be. It's crucial for people to wake up and see what's happening around them. Our choices today shape our future, and we can't let the truth be silenced. If you enjoyed our video, 
we'd really appreciate it if you could give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more fascinating content like this. Also, feel free to share your thoughts on this topic in the comment section. We can't wait to hear from you. See you in our next video.